Hello, Mike DeRoe here in beautiful Naples, Florida. I am going to try to explain and show you how what down the line and hitting a ball straight as you can kind of point how to do that. Okay, I don't want to make it complicated and I'm going to try to keep it short. Okay, down the line. First of all, what does it look like in the end? Well, when your arms drop and they release freely, that there's going to be a point right here, right there, camera, where the hands hit the ball here, they freely release, and that club is pointing down the line. Hopefully your head is tilted a little bit. So it looks long and loose and free. And your hands will be as far from you as you can get them, except not as far as you can get them, as far as centripetal force will let them go. So they are loose, they touch bottom, and they are really loose right here. Now, in order to get far from you, and down the line, your lead arm has, must do this. If it fights in any way, which is the most common thing, now why would it fight? We're trying to hit a ball hard, and we'll get this left arm to fight. So, I tell you, for you to freely release, you have to synchronize. Your legs and arm must synchronize. It shouldn't be as hard. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But to have that swing that everyone goes, boy, that looked easy. It's going to be that your arms release past your chest and your legs go with it and then it finishes. Now, the finish position is just that the arms go long and loose and go right over your shoulder. If your arms don't go over your shoulder, you aren't loose because if they stop here, you've done it. And I had a lady the other day stopping about both below her waist because she was doing this, throwing the energy here and then the club would stop there. Of course, it doesn't work that way. You want to wait with your energy. Here it is waiting and then it flings and you synchronize your legs and the golf club in your arms. Now let's go a little deeper because that's saying it and we want that to happen, but how do you make that happen? Okay, there's the ball line, the target line. This line is my hand line. It's underneath my hands. This is my heel line. The best way to get that beautiful fling is to get back in such a way that the hands get over to the heel line or shoulder line. Now, where else could you go? If you went up like this, my hands are not over there and I need that depth. It's called depth. They started here, they got to here. It's only this far, by the way. Watch, my hands start here, get here. That's that far. Some players try to go really far back and they get over here. Now that's that far and these hands can't drop. They have to be forced back to the ball and it won't work, believe me. So you want to get your hands to the easiest place you can get them so that they fall down the line, down the line, fall down the slot, okay, because we want it to be easy. So you do, the easiest way to get your arms back to that easy spot is to take your right shoulder back, this scapula goes back in your chest. If you said, where does your chest go? It goes over here. Oh, I probably just whacked the microphone and your arms get out here. Don't make it an exercise where you go, I must twist and get my arms somewhere. So I think you heave your arms back. Whoop, there they are. Once they're on this line, I don't care whether you're high, medium, or low, as long as they're somewhere on this line. And you don't have to be perfect. Okay, so I heave my arms back. They're somewhere about over by my shoulder. Now I make a weight shift. That's all that's required. A weight shift and your hands will drop. Okay, I haven't done anything with my hands at all. Now the club will always cross over if you're loose. If you're tight and you hold on and look at this arm fighting, it won't cross over. But the law of physics says these are the things that will happen. Your club will drop and your forearms will cross over right there. So if you allow those two things and synchronize them with your legs. Okay, now your legs do have to move. If you try to do a good arm swing without legs, watch what it looks like. Good arms, good arms. Do I have any extension here? None at all, because to get extension, my knee must go with me. If I said to someone, how far can you reach that club? Watch how far it reaches when my knee is here. Now watch how far, so you need your knee to go with you to get good extension down the line. Okay, you do need a strong enough grip so that this club will naturally square up. Remember, I want the club face to square up late, smooth, and naturally. You don't have to do anything. If you think you have to turn your arms, you're doing something wrong. Your grip isn't right because your arms should be hanging, swinging, and it should square up on its own. In fact, if you have to grab a three knuckle grip to make this happen, I don't care if you have to turn your hand strong enough because we need that club to catch up to your chest. Okay, back down the line.
you're standing there. Here's your hand line. You go, I'm going to swing it back to my heel line, which is there. There's a, a little bit of depth. I, I do a little subtle weight shift. That is just moving your weight back to your lead leg. It's a post. It's a post right here. We've showed you this before, but I love it. All golf is get your arms back here, and then here's this subtle move. I bump. That's all. It's not a push. It's not a twist. It is a weight shift to the left, and your hands will drop. And now that freedom takes over. Woo! Okay. In slow motion, it looks like this. I get my arms back. I start making the weight shift. You're actually making the weight shift as your arms are still going back. It's a little bit. That makes sense to crack a whip. I make my weight shift. My arms drop, drop, drop. They fling and they get about here. That may look like my arms are long or tight. They're not. They're just loose and they go whip. Okay, in slow motion it goes whip. My arm relaxes and refolds and the club will go over your shoulder. Your swing, they call it parking the car. When you get done with your swing, you should know how comfortable your arms feel. And if they aren't up here over by your ear and shoulder, you've stopped them. Okay, and if you've stopped them, you've got tension. Now, I actually believe your arms should go over your shoulder, down the line, and then you can drop back this way. Watch this line, Peter. I swing through, down the line there, right, pointing right at the camera, then watch this. Over my shoulder, club is at the line, and I drop right there and I'm on that line again. Anyway, I hope this helped you understand how freely you can get it down the line, and I hope you give it a try, see how comfortable you can get it to do. You do have to touch bottom and synchronize. And that's not easy to do. I've been doing it for 52 years working on it. I mean, I haven't been doing it right, but good luck to you. Take care. Swing down the line.